babes welcome to another episode so I'm in a little bit of pain right now I'm in a little bit of pain and it's because of this the dreaded period yes and it's come on you know worse than I've had it for a long time and yesterday I was in like so much pain I was like rocking in the corner going what the fuck what is going on this is crazy I was having those feelings so Anyway, this is, has happened as a result of going from raw to cook. So I was raw for like 45 days and then we went to New Zealand and like the day before we went to New Zealand, I hit the cooked, went back on the cooked and you might be like, why the fuck did you go back on to cook food? You know, you said you're raw forever for life. I know, you know, I just say in the moment how I feel and I live in the moment, in that moment, if I'm like, I'm going to be raw forever, that's what I feel and that's what I say. But I did end up eating cooked food and I'm still on cooked food right now. Like a drug, I'm still on cooked food. So I had the cooked food and um, the reason being is because I wasn't eating enough calories from fruit and it's very easy to under eat. That's why you see fruitarians, skinny fruitarians everywhere because they're not eating enough and it's very easy to under eat on this lifestyle. Is it the fault of raw food? No, it's not. It's not the fault of raw food, but it is very easy to do because you're not getting the, the salts and the oils and the spices, which make you want to eat more food in general. They make you want to eat more and more and you don't get that with fruit. So that's why. And then we went to New Zealand and had a great time. I love it. It was an awesome time, except I hit the cooked food quite a bit and I was feeling the effects and all of a sudden whoosh, there was a gush of blood, mm -hmm. a gush of blood. And I'm like, what the fuck? You are not meant to be here now. And that's why I didn't take the plug. I didn't take the plug because I was not due to get my period when I was over there. So it was a bit of a shock. And yes, like you can get spotting and stuff like that, like a bit of a warning that your period's coming and that's perfectly normal. And you know, that's what I generally get on this lifestyle. But this was like a gush. And I'm like, okay, we're on then, we're on. So I got a tampon, plugged it up, plugged it up, and then it went away. Okay, so then it went away for like a day and a half. And then another gush. We get another gush and I'm like, are we, is this it now? Are we, are we doing this? Are we on for the full term of the period now? But no, it went away again. And then yesterday, we've been back for a couple of days. Yesterday is like full force, just Niagara Falls of blood, the Niagara Falls of blood. And I was filling up like cups of these, a couple of cups every couple of hours. So there was a lot of blood and there was a lot of pain and I'm like, oh whoa why is this so uncomfortable that's how I was feeling <laughs> just feeling really really intensely painful and it reminded me of my meat and dairy days it really did and I was shocked I mean when I was eating meat and dairy it was worse because I couldn't get out of bed I couldn't train my clients I had to ring them up and say look I'm sorry I can't come today I'm bleeding basically you know I wouldn't tell them that but I make up some excuse so I had a really big issue with period pain and now for the last decade it's been so good that this experience is like why you know why but it's obvious that coming from raw to cooked has been such a transition like an aggressive transition for my body that my body's just trying to work itself out and to balance out this didn't happen last time I came from raw to cook so it's interesting but you're never the same person in each moment you're changing all the time so the experience is going to be different but I just wanted to share this experience with you because you know I want to you know be transparent about these experiences because I feel like they help because maybe one of you will experience this and you'll be like, oh, well, it happened to Freely. You know, Freely's a good role model. You know, she told me about it. And I feel like that is important. It's an important part of our relationship. And I've always wanted to do these sort of videos, but to be honest, I've been, I've been a bit scared. I've been a bit scared because people can be pretty fucking horrible. I think they forget that I'm still a person. I still have feelings, you know, it might sound a bit like a victim or, or whatever, but I'm still a person, you know, I still take notice of what people say and think and feel and stuff like that. And if you put out certain stuff, people can manipulate it. They can try and make you look like a bad person and say she's a bad role model. And for me, that is the worst thing ever. You know, I don't want to be seen as a bad role model because I really care about the example I put out to you guys and girls. Like I, I, I care about that because I want to help you. You know, I want to help you from the experience place that I've been from which is you know coming from eating disorders and anorexia and bulimia and terrible periods and like a past of a lot of issues so I want to be able to 
you know, help you. And I don't want to be seen as like, you know, this bad person or whatever. So anyway, I'm going to share more experiences that have been happening because it, it's, it's just, it's exciting to be just open about these things. It really, really is for myself and also I feel for you guys as well. So anyway, I'm just going to go and relax, get a lot of water in because that's really important and rest and fill up a few more of these. I've got a tampon in at the moment. Fill up a few more of these and yeah. So that's my video. If you want to see more videos where we talk about personal stuff, let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking about making a video about boob jobs. Yes, about boobs. If you want to hear about a little boob story, then let me know in the comments below and I'll let you know a few things. We can talk about stuff. And also my skin, yeah, has been breaking out because of the cooked food, yes. And Robin kicked me in the head here accidentally. He went into a handstand and he kicked me. It was a total accident, but there's a bit of a lump there now. But your face is more puffy, more pimples. So it's, it's not as much fun, but it's kind of a transition. The transition period is always a bit ugly, a little bit ugly, but wish me luck with the period pain. And I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. And I'll see you next video.